So today I'm going to show you a magic trick unlike anything that you've seen inside of Notion that uses Cron. So Cron is the new app that Notion bought in June of this year and it's completely free. So there was a short waiting period for me but at the end it did come pretty soon. So let's say you want to set up a meeting with your colleague today but without the hassle of going back and forth. So you share your availability using Cron and highlighting the slots that are available. So Cron copies the whole thing to your clipboard and using your preferred mail app, you just copy a pre-composed message, write in, add any additional details and send it. So once your friend or colleague receives it, he can select the time slot that suits him best. Once he accepts it, both calendars are marked and the Zoom call details are automatically inserted into both calendars. But inside Notion, everything has been auto-synced and all the details are visible. Voila. What's more, you can just click on the Zoom details and join straight from Notion. But for some reason, if you just decide to cancel the meeting, just delete it. So Cron sends an automated email back to your friend and confirms that the meeting has been cancelled. What's more, the meeting has been removed from all the calendars. But you still may have a question. How does it work? So Cron is integrated into my Google Calendar. Inside of Cron, I've added Zoom under conferencing options. So Cron and Google Calendar are integrated into my Notion GTD system, which you can pick up from my website. I have pre-configured all options using my preferred integrator, Notion Automations, so that you don't have to do any of the heavy lifting. If you're interested in this, all the details for this integration is also available in my Getting Started Guide. Wasn't that magic? For more magic, see these videos and subscribe for much more.